morning everyone, Bridget here. Today I'm going to show you the most simplest of Anglo-Indian dishes and that's a chicken fish bash. So you must have heard the term fish bash many a time. It's a colloquial phrase used by Anglo-Indians for a smashed rice. It's more like a soup rice and uh, this dish, uh, you know, uh, purportedly originated during the time of the British Raj and it was very famous during colonial times and all our generations throughout have been making pishpash for us whenever we were sick or when uh, we needed something comforting. So today I'm going to show you how to make a chicken pishpash. So just keep watching, I'll show you what's the most simplest ingredients that go into making a chicken fish bash. So first of all, you need like two tablespoons of oil, which I've already put into this uh, pan. One cup of rice. Any, any raw rice you could use, whichever is convenient for you. And uh, it's one cup of rice and 250 grams of chicken. Now you could use uh, preferably chicken on the bone otherwise uh, even chicken mince or lamb mince or mutton mince or even uh, boneless chicken but today since we are uh, going to do a chicken pish pash I'm using chicken on the bone 250 grams and um, two teaspoons of ginger garlic paste you could lessen the ginger garlic paste if you like or just uh, use even um, uh, chopped ginger or chopped garlic. Then I have one teaspoon of peppercorns and just one uh, piece of cinnamon. And uh, we need uh, mint, either fresh or dry. So I don't have fresh mint. I'm using dry mint, which I got from the uh, stove. And this is one teaspoon of uh, dry mint and we need around six to eight uh, measures of water the same measure that you used for measuring your rice the same measure you uh, use around uh, six to eight uh, cups of water because we need to cook the rice till it's very soft and the chicken also has to be cooked it's more like a soup rice so cup Let's get started. So I've added uh, two tablespoons of oil into this pan and I'm going to add uh, the cinnamon and the whole peppercorns to it. Now just let it fry for just two minutes or even less. Okay, so this will Draw out all the flavors and uh, now I'm adding in our ginger garlic paste. You need to fry this for around uh, say uh, a few seconds only. So as I said, uh, fish patch rice is very good for uh, invalids and even as a comfort food. So we just fry this for about say one minute. Now to this I'm adding in our chicken. We need to fry this till the pieces become firm. So uh, you could make your pistach in the pressure cooker as you like or just simmer it down the way I am doing. Slow cook your rice and your chicken.
So we keep frying the chicken till it becomes nice and firm and uh, changes color. This may take around say two or three minutes because unless the chicken fries well, it would give out a nice taste. You can see that the chicken has roasted well. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add in my rice. Now you stir fry this a little. See the rice was washed and drained. So now you just stir fry for a little while. Just maybe like for two minutes. And now we'll add in our mint leaves. As I said, you could use fresh mint or dried mint which is available uh, in bottles in your stores. So this is the simplest of the Anglo-Indian dishes uh, which is um, the chicken fish patch. And now I'm going to measure around eight cups of water. Now you can see that I've added like eight cups of water. You can increase the heat first till it starts bubbling and then we we'll simmer. So now we we'll just add an approximate amount of salt to taste. So now we cook this on high heat till it comes to a bubble and then we are going to simmer. So as you can see this is starting to heat up and um, as I mentioned earlier this is very easy on the stomach and it's very easy to digest that's why it's given to invalids and to babies so as you can see pepper and cinnamon and mint were the main ingredients that went into this nothing else and um, why I prefer cooking chicken with the bones is because it gives out it becomes more strengthening and uh, the collagen in the bones are good for us I let it come up for a little while once it bubbles well we are going to close it and simmer. It's giving out a really nice aroma. Very, very comforting. So now I lower the heat and I'm going to close it and let this cook. It's cooking well. It's reducing quite a bit and uh, the rice is cooking well as well as the chicken. This will take at least another half an hour on slow heat. So we need to cook much more till the rice is like very very soft. You can see our fish pash is ready. I'm turning off the heat and I'm going to allow it to 
remain as it is for the next 15 minutes. So as I said, you could cook it in a pressure cooker or you could just simmer it down the way I did. So you could add in a tablespoon of ghee if you like. To give it some extra flavor. You can see even the chicken is boiled really well. And here you go. A steaming hot plate of Anglo-Indian chicken pish bash. Uh, you could have this with just some pickle or if you like you could have it with an omelette. I hope you like this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I did bringing this simple Anglo-Indian uh, chicken pish bash dish to you. If you like this video please like and share it and uh, do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.